as a United fan, <laughs> I'm experienced in being the Lulu. Kenyans, we are as the Lulu as United fans, bro. You know. Oh. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the Wildcard Podcast. Of course, my name is Brian Wawudo, joined by... Venant. And of course, Nyash's twin. Ah, right? Johnny Tombogwa. <laughs> yeah, no, no socks, no, no official shoes, uh-huh. jazzy to no different. I'm happy, yeah. just like the socks I've won. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm ready to be the gaffer for Man United. Yes. No man, I'm ever officially... You know, I no? support you. Unataka assistant coach. <laughs> <laughs> At least. <laughs> so to say, me, to say me well, card has done a good... Yes. Transfer. Yes, one hundred percent. I never want to see Nyashi <laughs> again. We may fit Missouri, sir. Anyway, this uh, week's episode will be talking about the civil war that is going on at Chelsea, and we'll talk about the Shams mm-hmm. and why he's ready to leave right now. Okay, fair enough. And also, do you remember Jose Manchester United? We'll just talk about how my new fans are the same, same delusional as. Kenyans. Kenyans. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Remember, this episode has been brought to you courtesy of Sport, Sport Pesa. Pesa. And yes. uh, as we delve into what's going on, there's a big, big game this coming weekend. Mm-hmm. Of course, personally, from my perspective, yes. the best derby in all leagues in the world, yep. the North London Derby. Venna, is there anything you have about the North London Derby you want to tell us? Mm-hmm. Uh, for your son, because if you know the history of this fixture, uh-huh. Goldfest, mm-hmm. and a lot of legends, Henry, Nani, Wamefunga, mm. and I have a question for you guys. Mm-hmm. I need to know, quite North London derby, who has the most goals between Arsenal and Spurs? Quite North London derby. Question of the week, public yes. comments on YouTube. Yes, yep. I'm pretty sure it can't be an Arsenal player. Anyway, you you stand a chance of winning that question of the week, and Mm -hmm. you also stand a chance of winning the mega jackpot courtesy of Sport Pesa. Right now, it's at over 381 million Kenyan shillings. Unango Janini. All you need is 99, Bob. The pay bill number is 955100. Your account number is your own personal phone number. And with the 99, Bob, you could be the next millionaire in town. You could be the Chelsea owner. We don't ah. know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. uko tot boli, mm-hmm. tot boli, umambie, hey, bro. Exactly, yeah. Because I've been seeing there's a lot of uh, back and forth, zig uh-huh. and zag. Mm-hmm. Uh, tot boli versus, what's his name? Beidad Ebagli. Mm-hmm. Uh, they want to buy each other out of Chelsea, but mm-hmm. I firmly believe it's a stupid decision. Why? You're just two years into the job. Mbona mnakosana? Haven't you been in a situation where you guys have different ideologies, but you're in the same company, you're in the same group, or maybe in the same relationship? Don't get me started on different <laughs> ideologies. <laughs> it doesn't matter, my boy. I get where you're coming from. Mm-hmm. I get where you're coming from. Because uh. Todd Boli is more so like he wants the Galactico signing. Yeah. Okay. He wants to do what Madrid sort of did in the early 2000s mm-hmm. and also right now. Mm-hmm. But Bedad is more so, I, I want the Datro for Fanas. Mm-hmm. I want the youngsters. I want to build a bigger team uh, in, the, in the next five or ten years. Where would you sit in that kind of position? Uh, actually, for me, mm. uh, for Todd, Todd is kind of a delusional person because mm-hmm. he can't be buying uh, each and every star that he's seeing from the internet, from the social media, from the fans. Yes. Quick, quick rush. We have the money. Go buy with no plan, uh, and uh, it won't last long. Yeah. To be honest, because he also wants to have a project of building uh, the Stamford mm-hmm. mm-hmm. within no short time. I love him, Mona. You've seen the wages that uh, he's giving to the players. I've seen the wages of Sterling. I've seen the wages <laughs> of Jackson. I've seen the wages of Palmer. Yeah. These guys are ballers. They might as well be playing in the Saudi League. Ah, uh, come on. What, what's happening here is two Manchester United fans want to scare Wivu because they are a broke team. <laughs> 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 Premier League. Win, bro. Chelsea, if Win, you bro. have all the money in the world, yeah. you're buying everybody. You are buying everybody. So you're saying if you have all the money in the world and you have the opportunity to make a team a better team, trust me, you're following the same suit. So you're saying Todd Bolly is better off for doing it like Perez rather than Bedard who wants to do it like Brighton. Because mm. Brighton usually nurture talent and then sell to the bigger club. You have the money right now, my friend. How, but it doesn't when guarantee was the success last... right now. It hasn't. <laughs> it hasn't, actually. What have they done so far? Tuko, Tuko day one. You guys want to pass KCAC and we're just getting into the school. Come on, you have to give it time. You have to give it time. Yes, I understand. Uh <coughs> and they are very expensive and the mm-hmm. prices are good. But mm-hmm. if you are the owner of Chelsea right now and you have all the money in the world, I, prom- I promise you are doing the same thing. 
But for Todd, it's more of business than more of uh, yeah. creating a project. You know, okay. it's more of the Glazers, and uh, yes. the other investor is more of uh, Ineos. Because for him, if he gets an Osimhen in, that's short sales. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, you know, he's getting the commercial, he's getting the club commercially up there to the likes of United. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But this other brother, Baydad, yeah, nataka mambo ya kuleta Kaisedo na Makalista, so that he nurtures them to go to bigger clubs. And Chelsea has never been that. Abramovich proved that Chelsea is no longer a club where you nurture talent. It's a club where you win th stuff. Chelsea may nurture talent gani of late. Tuonge ukweli. Kaisedo, to me, when I see him, I just imagine him wearing... Sassi, that's that's <laughs> actually proving our point. That's you supporting that Todd Bowley is right. We don't have time to nurture talent. We have time to sign Osimhen and win the league. Yeah, it's what, it's what I'm saying, Sijakata. Yeah. But yeah. at the same time, also understand the other strategy mm -hmm. of... The, basically, the, the other guy is doing it the Brighton way. Mm -hmm. Where we're buying, buying in players right now, we are uh, nurturing them so they become premium players. Yep. Because Chelsea are known for selling players. Mm -hmm. yeah. busy akuza players. Mm -hmm. So this is just them continuing with the old ways, but the new owner is like, wait, the old ways, it's a Trindia league for quite some time. Mm -hmm. We need it right now. But mm. for Todd, it's more of the same as uh, Glazers. Mm -hmm. The time yeah. they, they went and bought Cristiano just for commercial sales, uh -huh. the club, short sales. He's no longer li uh, like interested with what's maybe winning with, a trophy. What's wrong with short sales? Come on. Man. Wouldn't you want to make the best out of your club? That's not the project that this other investor wants. Foot, there's something called football heritage, you know. True, and there's it's some football heritage. <laughs> <laughs> sour, Mourinho, sour, I get it. But there's also business. When this guy came into Kubai Chelsea and all that, we were mm -hmm. introduced to him as a businessman. All Americans are just business people. So, so why are we surprised get, when they this. do business like let me get behaviors? This you wouldn't be pissed off if today Edu decided. From now on, Ateta, mm. your job is not to win the league. Your job is to nurture talent and sell to Madrid and Barcelona. Would you be pissed as an Arsenal fan? You forget at one point you are selling players to Barcelona. No, you are selling Deadwood. <laughs> <laughs> you guys Deadwood didn't have players. Deadwood. You guys didn't have players. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, I'm joined by two <laughs> jealous Manchester United fans who are currently broke and are envying their blue neighbors called Chelsea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, But it's because <clears> you've been there before, you know. Mm. Yeah, exactly. You've mm. been there before. You Nikitabo. This is right now. Right now, we are not even sure if you guys are going to beat South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a clean sweep. Have you seen the form from uh, United players? Uh -huh. That's the squad. Uh, Bruno. Yeah, once. Mm -hmm. Bruno. Bruno did what? He scored uh, versus Scotland. Labda. Yes, he did. He, did. he scored he versus Scotland, Scotland. But yeah. he was not wearing a... I don't uh, care. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all in all, for me personally, on this whole Chelsea saga, yeah. me, I want what we were denied with the Klopp thing. Mm. See, Klopp, he to pay documentary, but Amada Kazima Yomoto Araka Sana. Mm. Very mm. fast. I yeah. want a Chelsea documentary on Netflix. About... To see what is going on, if the players want to jump ship. Because this is not the drama Mareska needs in Yawan. This is not the drama you want in your first year in the job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Generally, he should be... After being given, like, yeah. for 12 players, no, eh, mm -hmm. come on. Mm. He's, he's got enough stress. Let him focus with the players rather than uh, the owner's problems. Yes. Okay. Chelsea are going to bone more this weekend. Mm. Uh -huh. So I wonder how they'll bounce back, considering it's like Mareska now has cleared their yes. necessary players. Yeah. So they, I believe, are going to work. We've seen some players have missed out of uh, the UE, UECL uh, tournament yes. mm -hmm. and they're progressing. Mm. But once again, Manchester United fans. Yes. You know, same with <laughs> Fraisha, e weekend. I saw that legendary match. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, E weekend, I also saw a very big team that was disappointing up in mm -hmm. the name of France. Mm -hmm. mm. Brian, you've been beating your chest. Yeah, France. Oh, yeah. Hey, I France. Nah, nah, yes. nah, 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 nah. <laughs> and all this time. Uh -huh. I want you to keep that very same energy. When you're talking about your World Cup, <laughs> Your let, world me, card. let me tell you something. I've come <laughs> to realize the World Cup is not a sports podcast. Uh, mm. It's a podcast for Udo to rant every week. Mushinda ni merant. Mushinda ni merant. And also tell us where was Saliba during that game. Was <laughs> yes. He was nowhere to be seen. Bro, Mushinda ni merant. France looked dis disjointed against Italy. Fact. Strangers, 11 mm. strangers on the pitch. Yusuf Fofana, I've been waxing lyrical about this guy. I didn't want to go United mm. Mbele Ugati. Yeah. Where? Bad game, mm -hmm. nightmare of a game. Uh -huh. At the end of the day, Deschamps, I know you got the contract till 2026, mm -hmm. but come on, dog. There's a bald man waiting in the name of Zizou. 
please. I want to see Zizou ball. He rejected, I want to see Zizou ball. He rejected Man United for this cup, man. <laughs> he w- he's going to take the France to the World Cup 2026. Yeah, because it's, it's faster to win the World Cup with France than to win a Premier League with Manchester United. Man won three Champions Leagues in a row. What are you <laughs> telling him? What are you telling him? Not with Manchester United. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, me personally, by the way, France need to now, like Kina Michel Platini and them yeah. man who are the head uh-huh. of the yeah. FA, the French FA, they need to suck. Hey. Hey. Bro, every <laughs> week. <laughs> pause, pause. They need hey. to fire the hey. shop. They need to fire this brother. Because uh, one. After one game. Right now, the way I'm looking at it, it's not like 2018. It's but not 2018. Uh-huh. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Ever since the 2022 World Cup final, yep. France have not played well against the big sides. Yep. They've okay. lost twice to Germany. Mm-hmm. There was a nil-nil against Portugal le- le- in, the, in, the, in the Euros. And let me not even talk about how underwhelming that group stage of that Euros was. And then we all saw what Yamal did to them in the semi-final. Mm. I get it. Deschamps has won the World Cup and he's won the Nations League and he's gotten to the semi-final, if not the final, of every tournament he's competed in. But at the end of the day, you can't just be talking... Pogba is no longer there to pass the ball to Mbappe. Yeah. Uh-huh. You have Chouameni and Kamavinga <clears throat> and Kante who we've called back and the likes of Kone and the likes uh-huh. of Yusuf Fofana who cannot pass like Pogba. Yeah. So find a different way. Griezmann was the guy linking the midfield to attack. Yeah. Griezmann is not getting any younger. Mm. Why can't Olise do that job right now? Why can't someone like Ryan Chucky come and do that job? End of the day, but he needs to move on. But it's the pressure from the fans, mm-hmm. uh, maybe supporters, fans. Yes. Yeah, from the fans, because you expect a team like uh, France to win each and every time, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. Italy, it has a good squad, but they failed to get to the World Cup a uh, couple of times. Mm-hmm. But you see, the transition has to take time. Yeah. That's the issue with mm-hmm. uh, France. The coach isn't give, being given the time mm-hmm. to make a transitional squad because mm-hmm. you can't get, be calling country right now he did well for the euros okay yes, yes. just let him go nurture some another cdm slowly by slowly maybe come 2026 he'll be able to yeah uh, get well because it's a right now it's more of a prospect squad oh okay. yes okay. there's positions to fight for in exactly. that first team right now but mm-hmm. tell us where was saliba man because eh, Di Marco, did you see that goal? You see, this is the issue with the Arsenal player. I mean, I'm going to go to the training ground. 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 I'm going to go This is how you play ball. Uh, play it like so Pep. Play it like Sju Tikitaka. Uh, Ain't no place for Tikitaka in international football. I'm going to go to the training ground. I'm going to go to the training ground. Once again, two Manchester United fans. Bro, yeah, like, like, no, 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 let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. The last time, the the game, better teams the like last time France had a good game, Saliba was holding people's phones on the bench. Yes. And that was the 2022 World Cup. So, who may agree? How do you may agree? He has to go back and do his job. <laughs> That's the last time they had a good game. I'm not a France fan, so it makes sense. <laughs> actually, see, I've, I've seen your Calafiori uh, has an oak, actually. <clears throat> hmm? Calafiori. Calafiori, sir. Uh-huh. I don't know, man. we have replacements over there. But one question that I have to ask you, you personally as a, as a France fan, and also yeah, for you guys who support France, yeah. mm-hmm. is the current team better than the 2018 team? The 11, the starting 11. The, the ESI, everyone is fit. if you're to of come course, up with a France 11, no. is it better than the no, 28, specifically the 2018 Ooh. World Cup winning team? No. I'm looking at the 2018 World Cup team. I'd argue only for... Loris and Maignan, because I rate Maignan. Mm, I've never, le- I've yeah. never rated Loris. Okay. But when it comes to the centre back partnership, Varan Umtiti, bro, Saliba ain't cutting. Uh, Saliba ain't <laughs> cutting close. Konate pia viki apo. You can, you can take up uh, prime Saliba over Varan. Yeah. Or Umtiti when it was prime. Look at Pogba Kante. Chuameni Kamavinga can't do that. Come on. They, they ain't getting to that level. Griezmann okay. is still in the team, but then even <clears throat> Makasturam. Giroud used to be the guy for France. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Top scorer. Mm-hmm. I ain't getting there. Okay, when you put it that way now, mm-hmm. okay, he has to go. Yep. Yeah, he has to go. Achoude. You, because I would just look at it from an objective perspective. The team is not better. Mm-hmm. And also, there's another team that people feel it's not better. Yes. Which is now, you guys, I believe you guys are going to disagree, but Kenya. 
at the moment we aren't playing very well mm-hmm. and i as a kenyan fan i don't like it when i go on to twitter mm-hmm. and we're being compared to manchester united i as a national <laughs> fan i do not like it so you rate all. firat eh? you rate firat yes you want him to stay yes but even before yeah in case you guys don't know mm-hmm. uh we played on friday mm-hmm. yeah. it ended nil nil but it's like people weren't so happy with that result mm-hmm. and kenya hasn't been playing that well mm-hmm. compared to like the last the likes of under 21s yes mm-hmm. uh, so the question guys are asking is what's up with the kenyan team and what's up with kenyan fans are we delusional mm-hmm. or do we just need to accept that kenya is almost na san marino you know san marino, <laughs> marino <laughs> yeah. we are like this one, <laughs> one, one right win now. in 140 games <laughs> the last thing they got was 2004 mm-hmm. wow, 20 same, years ago the same same country actually yes. it was 1 nil 2024 another 1 mm-hmm. nil again. history repeats itself history so you want to tell me it's a better it's it, it's yeah. better than just one full circle <laughs> yeah so kenya to go up ah come on guys so, uh, <laughs> as a united fan i'm experienced in being the lulu Kenyans we are as the lulu as united fans bro you know oh. <laughs> first things first yep. kenya has qualified for the afcon twice in 30 years mm. accept where you are accept okay. where you are before mwanza kusema hapa ati oh if olunga was there he could have scored a hat trick mm. nini nini it wouldn't have changed anything i think firat was absolutely right in his own words mm-hmm. when he did say that first of all we have to accept where we are okay yep. hey, mcg yake huko juu na bado hata if you can't even dominate your own east africa region uta dominate aje continent mzima but at okay. least yeah. uh, at least he gave us a trophy the four nations tournament yes at mm-hmm. least he, we have tested the glory kidogo you know mm-hmm. cuz uh, maybe the choice of selections uh, the his starting 11 is always the issue yes cuz he, he always gets the subs right each and every time we play much better in the second half more than mm-hmm. first half generally under his uh, term yes but let me ask you guys this uh-huh. were you guys surprised that we couldn't get the job done I don't think so. I don't think I so. I was. I don't think so. I was. Bro, we don't have any quality facilities. Don't so even get me started the, about the quality stadium. The reason we went to Uganda is because <laughs> yes. we don't have a stadium with that <laughs> yeah. uh, level. Mm. We can't I, compete. I, I agree with you because when I was watching that game, uh-huh. I like my high school Masiangu could run all the pitch all the time. Yeah. I was very amazed at how the quality of that pitch is and how much I was wishing I wish this was Nyayo. I wish this was Nyayo. Mm-hmm. I wish this was Nyayo. Talante hmm. mefika uh, wapi? <laughs> <laughs> that says it. That says all. Exactly. <laughs> uh, that says it all, man. But as a team we played better defensively. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, fam. Mm-hmm. Yeah, considering solid at the back. We normally concede goals. Yeah. So for us to not concede a goal it was nice. As a team we also there's this pink. You remember this pink dyed uh a uh, guy from Zimbabwe who miss out his name mm-hmm. but we he was the main guy pale so as a team mm-hmm. we bullied him na ilikuwa poor um Austin once again i see a big future with this guy mm-hmm. because kwa gora anacheza vizuri mm-hmm. and also in the Kenyan team he's playing very well mm-hmm. and i have see a big future yeah no naki eventually he'll fly out fly mbaya yeah Okay, fair enough. So for you people who are saying oh Firat ju ni 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 his I don't to reference Ateta but he's ah, <laughs> can you can you be this is a serious <laughs> podcast killer that has his numbers. Can you Ateta kill a point? Come on bana. Okay, I've left. <laughs> <laughs> but talking about you you touched on uh, the legends match at Old Trafford. Yes. Did you see that uh, free kick from uh, Wayne Rooney? Rooney, yes. The last time he scored a free kick was in 2021 and it was from Cristiano Ronaldo, bro. Can I kneel down <laughs> and beg Rooney to come back and play for my team? Because clearly I don't think there's anyone in, Uni- the in guy, the current United team the, that can score set pieces. The guy ah. retired. He retired, came back and scored a free kick before Mbappe. Mm, 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 mm. Before Mbappe. Yep. Uh-huh. Wow. And he retired in 2021, you know. And considering you guys are Manchester United fans, uh-huh. Are there some legends that you'd like to see them at least play one more time for Manchester United? <sighs> Barbatov. Barbatov. Don't do that. Mono na nikopi. Mono na nikopi. But you absolutely please. The floor is yours. Barbatov. Barbatov. Yes. That guy can score, man. Mm-hmm. So clinical. We are tired of having too many project strikers bana. Mhm. Yeah. 
tumechoka we are not nurturing talent Imagine. we want people who are lethal in front of god yeah. hey, people who you can have in your fpl squads and <laughs> unpopular opinion i know uh, not many people support will support this point but yes. michael Carrick. Michael Curry. The unsung hero. Eh, 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 the, okay. the unsung uku, hero. Let me just... Uko good company kuna contract assurances. <laughs> Nyash does not deserve one. Please come back again and... I... <laughs> Please do. Wow. What what those two words. Michael Carrick. Michael what about... Midfield controller. Manze. Mm-hmm. What about Nani or Evra? Ah, not really. Na sema nini. No, I know I'm just in the league 21 years. <laughs> Why you say those guys those guys look fit like the Nanya is actually looks the same way okay. yeah, yeah. since yeah, I'm back. the number one guy who wants show out I yeah. take Evra I take Evra back yeah cuz show is clearly unfit to play for at my a, club at uh, Dennis Dennis Irwin yeah yeah mm-hmm. okay yeah. so so uh, Basi with Jonito I yeah, just yeah. remembered uh uh-huh. you know KPL is back this weekend mm-hmm. and Boy. We have to start with the league leaders. Mm-hmm. I'm not talking AFC about Leopards. So angalia league sai. No, angalia sai. Okay. <laughs> Who are FC playing this weekend? Poster Rangers, a mm. very very difficult game. As much as it's a home game, it's going to be a tight one. Yeah, itakuwa kama Daret wa Penne. Haitakuwa rahisi. Haitakuwa rahisi. I can see it ending as a 1-1 draw. You know. 1-1. Those... Yeah, 1-1 draw. You guys aren't confident considering his signings. Of course, of course Mofloed, the, yes. Mofloed, the dead yes, one, yes, yes, which yes. is very good. Mm-hmm. Man. Kudos. Yeah. And Meleta some new significant signings. Mm-hmm. But versus Poster Rangers. You remember yes. Poster Rangers is that team where it started off very well. Mm-hmm. The yeah. form dipped, then dropped but off. they came back on Vizuri. Yes. Mm-hmm. So you see a win over there? No, no, no. I think we'll draw with Poster Rangers. I think it's going to be a tight affair. It's going to be one where I think Omune gets our goal. Mm-hmm. But then that left-back spot is where we are still weak, like United, bro. I think that is where they'll capitalize. And yeah. <laughs> For once, you haven't used the Arsenal, and I'm happy about that. Jorito, mm-hmm. you know, if I talk about Gore, if I talk about Gore... To talk up for one Yes, hour. so just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, the match I anticipate for is uh, Sharks versus Tasca. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Mm. Because uh, Tasca it's a new squad. Yes. Uh, I hope Sharks will be able to redeem itself, you know. Because they won't find a Tasca squad which has already gelled. Kapita. Yes, true. Mm-hmm. So they might, if they try to, they might get a draw. Because Tasca is, it's a big club, you know. Yeah. Nika Brighton kupata draw against the Arsenal. But right? Sharks play tiki Yeah, they, they play good yeah. football, but mm. the results... Nikatu Ganacho. Ganacho scored, so you don't, you <laughs> yes, don't he let... Yes, he's dead, yeah, yes, yeah. 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 Mm. But that's what I see from Sharks, but I hope this season will, uh, everything will go well. Mm. I hope... Uh, Sharks was his... Striker, wow, number two ones of people, because last season, uh, he started scoring second half of the season, because uh-huh. first half, I was like, dead. Mbae. Striker, which team? Sharks. Sharks. Oh, Sharks. Oh, Sharks. Yeah. I'm here like turn over there kwa Sharks number 12 mm. and I hope and the Evo Villa because the game I watched the last time oh they beat Tasca 3-1 mm. I mm. remember yes I was watching mm. watch Machakos I think a repeat happens because Sharks is a well managed better team just like the way Brighton is mm. yes and I believe them being the and Kapaito also left yeah I mean I messed up but now what also they'll also also struggle also for so and is uh, a Kyle yeah. Okay. yeah and Manze me up on Nuna is an easy Sharks win, but Gore on the other hand. No, easy Sharks win. Do not agree up on Sir, easy Sharks yeah, win. Yeah. Gore on the other hand are playing Al Hai. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's at Nayo. Uh-huh. I hope the, the home support will be able to get us at least. You know, Al Ahali Nikama Real. Mm-hmm. Uh, Yakaf Champions League. Yes, true, you know? true, true. So, Kidogo, <clears throat> being at home, we hope. <laughs> Come on, speak with but faith, but yeah, yeah, you have to hope because you there have to some hope. point uno, uno a part of team in it was Jui Deportivo La Coruña in Pega Madrid Copa del Rey. Yes. So, yeah, you have to hope. You have to hope. <laughs> Maybe when mm-hmm. Valencia yeah, 2004 when mm-hmm. the, mm-hmm. the Benitez yes. uh, I to hope. Maybe a one nil. A one nil. A one nil win. One nil win. I don't remember the last but time. But that's on the good side. Ile oh. delusion or when you Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not delusion. Alali si raisi. You, you know. <coughs> Can't you guys for once? Isi Kenya na cheza ini gor. This is Gormaya playing mm-hmm. at home. Apa nyayo too. Mm. Uh, this weekend, please. 
Come, let's attend. You remember that 5-1 thrashing we gave? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I repeat of that. We need to do that. <laughs> Allah, yes, is a better team. It's the Real Madrid of Africa. Yeah. But once yeah. a life, once you in life sometimes, mm. you're presented with a challenge that seems too big, mm. but you just have to believe you can you do can it. Over- believe. What was not old man's believe, Tena? Jesus hope. Christ. Anyway, hope that speaking kills. of winning, we do hope Gormahia win, but winners, certified winners over the weekend, of course, were <laughs> the Kenya Harley Quinn in the Driftwood Sevens yes. that took place at the Mombasa <laughs> Sports Club. Buddha Walipiga KCB in the final 15-12. Mm-hmm. You see, no one ever remembers number two. Tusha yes. Sao KCB, Tusha <laughs> Sao Stratmolios, uh-huh. Tusha Sao Cabras. Because mm-hmm. Harley Quinn's dominated the rugby <clears throat> event over the weekend that was brought to you courtesy of Sport Pesa. Yes. Yes. Get hooked on Sport Pesa. Mm. Not only do they offer betting tapes and uh, they give you a lot of cash prizes when mm-hmm. you win, uh, when you place on mega jackpots, mm-hmm. there's also the rugby side. There's also the 2G mini events that they host monthly. Please get hooked, bro. Because now... Rugby is a tamba courtesy of sport pesa. Yes. Mm-hmm. I mean, Freya Sana, because Mimi weekend, mm-hmm. Nekelea Dok was an ally versus Paz. A fool. <laughs> <laughs> a fool. Oh my God. Mm. I don't know, ma- I don't know ma- you know why I believe Arsenal will win versus Paz? Yeah, mm-hmm. Because also, when you look at FPL, yes. Arsenal has more points collectively than Spurs. And right now, Arsenal don't have very good fixtures. We have. Uh, what's it called? We have Spurs this weekend, and then it's followed by City. City. Yeah. So I'm looking at my FPL team right now, and I think I'll go with Harvards for these two weeks mm-hmm. because Arsenal will still score. Mm. Yes. And uh, Game Week 4 is right here. Mm-hmm. I don't know about your teams right now. Are mm. we hopeful for the next four weeks? How are you feeling about our FPL teams? Ah, very confident. Because ah. I say now I've incorporated Salah and Haaland. Exactly. Ah, now, but nice. Yeah, I've doubled down on my attack. Defense ni make out to cheap. Come as Ole Howard Bailey, so we are Southampton in them. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm okay. What about you? Captain Haaland, they are at home. It's uh, Etihad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Brentford. It's Brentford. Uh-huh. Back-to-back home games for City. For yes. City. Hey, Haaland is eating Brentford, good. Brentford, then wow, Arsenal. Wow, wow. I love Haaland you see Pepper Lissema. Their preseason is now over. Boom. So yes. your season in Mianza, you know. Mm-hmm. So uh, Haaland, it's Brentford. Come on, come on. It's KDB. a bigger hat-trick versus West Ham. What's Brentford for him? Yeah. But Brentford, on the other hand, are a team that is scoring goals. But away, the away form isn't hasn't been that convincing. Scoring. Because right now, it's difficult to know who will get the goal. Is it mm. Wisa or Mbuemo? It's either. Because... It's like asking me, do you have Salah or Diaz? You don't know if both will score, yeah. but you just have to have one. Both? You just have to have one. <laughs> Bro, you can't have both. Where we going to Wisa, Salah, Haaland, Havertz, Isaac. Let's move when the differential. Uh, yeah. For my differential from Man City, Rico Lewis. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm a bench mm-hmm. walker since the start of the season. Mm-hmm. Yes, 4.6 million. Yep. At home versus Brentford. That's like, you need to Kenya for exam. That's, yeah. that's the cheat code right there. Mm. And I like that you've mentioned differentials because this week mm-hmm. we are talking about differentials in FPL. Yep. Yeah. For those people who don't know, F, mm. uh, a differential in FPL yep. is basically that FPL player who's not owned by many players and when he scores only a few of us benefit yep. a good example will be diaz when he did very well <laughs> versus manchester united and got us was it 16 but points move on <laughs> 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 but, <laughs> move on. Sa, 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 sa. So moving on to game week four bright brighton versus uh what's it called Ipswich. Ipswich, yep. yes I have a feeling that fixture we need to capitalize on. Now, come on, you not after points from the defense. Mm-hmm. Pale, Brighton will get you. I see a clean sheet pair because Velt, uh, Veltman and mm-hmm. uh, Dunk, mm-hmm. they're also getting you the assist so far. Mm-hmm. Out of party attacking returns on top of clean sheets. Uh, Pale forwards have Pedro or Welbeck? Jao Pedro. Jao Pedro. Yeah. I'd, I'd give Jao Pedro because he doesn't have many, he's not selected that much. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, so even though Villanayona Pale Brighton versus uh, Ipswich, Ipswich have been conceding goals, unfortunately. And with Ipswich, I'm yet to pick a player for you guys to consider. Ah, we move on to Crystal Palace versus Leicester City. Pale may have easy. Easy the for Richie. me. Yeah. And Leicester City have cheap FPL options. So the likes of Kinavadi. But is expensive. Mm. 5.6 is cheap. Uh, Compared to somebody like Mateta, who's seven. For that 5.6, I'd rather take Joao Pedro. 
Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. I do agree with you. But what do you guys think <coughs> about Nketia? Mm-hmm. Considering he's moved. I won't ah. talk as an Arsenal wait, fan. Wait, wait, I won't talk as an Arsenal fan. But this, he, this is a serious let's podcast. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's go the past. This is a serious <laughs> podcast. But I'm not going to talk about it. That's like a Fulham versus Sithro. Now that you've mentioned it, mm. Fulham versus West Ham is another fixture that I want you guys to capitalize in. Mm-hmm. The Fulham mids in particular yeah, versus bo. West Ham. West Ham do concede goals. So yeah. what, whoever you can afford to play Fulham, you will be in your Yes, sir. Uh, Nelson. Muniz, you have to yeah. add uh, Muniz. Muniz. Striker, yeah. uh, Muniz is a striker, though. Mm-hmm. You also have to Adama. You have to add mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. Yakopale. So, it's one of the fixtures. No, no, we can add differentials on top of Kina Haaland, Kina Diaz, mm-hmm. Kina Salah, but that's for game week four. I talked about using a wild card uh, last week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there are people who've asked me like who to get in the in case you've used the wild card. Mm-hmm. Now this is in relation to the next four weeks. I'm gonna go quick one in a in a minute. So Pale Qua defense, Aston Villa and Liverpool. I'm looking at Allison and Martinez. They do have the next four fixtures favor mm-hmm. them in terms of clean sheets mm-hmm. and also attacking returns. But I'm yeah. gonna talk about defense right now. And Liverpool, Pia. Liverpool have kept a clean sheet, clean sheet so far. Yeah. Uh, Pale Qua defense, if you can get Dine, Trent, uh, Okonate, mm-hmm. a Brighton defender, or Mseka Dan Kama Veltman, yeah. you'll be good with that three at the back. Pale mid, I'm looking at Fulham mid, uh, midfielders. Spurs, have to look at them because for them to win, they have to outscore their opponents. So mm-hmm. the Suns, Muita Suns of Spurs. Yeah, Madison, Johnson, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, Chelsea too. Yeah, they have bone mouth. Yeah, they have bone mouth. I also have to look at Mseka Palm over there. Yeah. Pale. And then Aston Villa, Onana. I'd give not Onana. Come on. Onana won't give you points. Yeah. Buy him say come Rogers. Rogers and Onana. Mm. Same price. But Onana is more CDM. Ish yeah. mm-hmm. is not, not uh, guaranteed not points. Really gar- uh, yeah. Just give you a, maybe a, a one point clean sheet because mm-hmm. uh, the other the other game he scored was just out of luck to be honest. But I'll explain why I said no Onana. Okay, <laughs> so here's the difference between Rogers and Onana in FPL. Uh-huh. Rogers Kwangu remi- reminds me of Musiala mm. at Bayern, like Anacheza Vizuri, and you know eventually he'll get something. Mm. Mm. Onana, on the other hand, has been scoring goals out of set pieces. Mm-hmm. So you know if I'm Seka Tillemans, mm-hmm. that's why he's very good in FPL right okay. now. And uh Aston Villa have good fixtures in his Nakam up. So I see Onana continuing his form. That's why. Yep. But of course Rogers you can get him. Yeah. Uh easy I've talked about Crystal Palace. Yep. Ben Palek were forwards. Mm-hmm. I have Pedro Welbeck. Mm-hmm. You might not like this. Jackson from Chelsea and Vardy from mm-hmm. Leicester City. Mm-hmm. In starting 11, your differentials. Of course, yes, I haven't yes, mentioned yes. Liverpool because you own them. Yeah. I haven't talked about Kina Haaland. There are people who you already have. But if you're looking for differentials for the next four weeks, these are the players who are going to get you the points. Okay. Yeah. There's only one thing I'm looking for, bro. Because yeah. when the drift was happening in Mombasa, mm. I'm pretty sure there's one person who can't swim. I know he was there, courtesy of Sport Pesa. <laughs> <laughs> where's Steve? I, like, I'm, I'm pre- um, joku swim kweli. I, don't, I don't know where he is, man. Anyway, we got to ask, where's Steve? He's <laughs> happy. Hey, yo, Wagwan, guys. Where Steven is in Mombasa this weekend for the fifth outing of the 2024 Sport Pesa National 7 Circuit. Na kama unaangalia Magidhani ya 6 tu hapo right about 6 na action imekuwa ikifanyika uko on that pitch and as you know with the rugby rugby bila sherehe si rugby so ukiangalia tu on my right era kwa it's looking amazing all the buddies are here everyone is here so it's just time for sherehe just in time remember South Africa is also playing New Zealand but Mambo imekuwa tu vizuri on the first day. KCB wame qualify to the main cup quarters. So just waiting for day two and see how action goes. But for me, over and out in Mombasa, mwanangu, ambio chani punge unyunyu. Chapeni kazi watu wangu. Okay, those are those are some fantastic insights from Steve. I mean, yes. that's why Sport Pesa have him going to each each and every tournament they host for him to cover them and give us the down low. Wase wajui rugby, wase wajui zi mambo za cheza dimba. Steve always got you covered with information, bro. Trust you me, he'll be there next week again to give you the down low on what is going on courtesy of Sport Pesa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Na pia sema watu wenye wajui ball pia ka Manchester United. Sasa sisi ya tujui ball aje. Tujui ball. Your manager doesn't know ball. That's why Steve is out there representing. Kwani manager wetu ni Firat? 
<laughs> oh my god, you know what, bro? Yeah. yeah, me, I think this time uh-huh. we have a new winner, Pale Kwa Trivia. Who? Mm. And I think I'm gonna win it this time. You know, Shida, ni thinking, it's not your strong suit. Oh my god, Yebo, please oh my give me god. my competition now. It's time for trivia, <laughs> Mr. Liverpool fan. Uh, okay, let's start with. Yeah. Question number one. Mm-hmm. Which club have played in the most seasons of English top flight league football? I go Everton. Everton. Ooh. Yes. Oh, Pay wow. me my money. <laughs> Aye. Guess what? <laughs> Guess what? Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> Who are the only club to have won just one match within a single English top flight league? Aye. Derby County. Pay me my money. 207 to 208. <laughs> 207 to 208. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Who was the first non-British manager to win the English top flight league? I'd give us a... Who? Non-British. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alex. Alex who? Sir Alex. That's not non-British. Yeah. He's a British. Sa- Z. British. He's I'm from Scotland. Scotland. Oh, in the UK. Yeah. I'd give us a... I'd say Jose. No. I go with Arsene Wenger. Correct. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Ninety. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which footballer has won the Premier League with both Leicester City and Man City? Leicester City. Hey, Leicester City and Man City. Go, go. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. Mares. Got yeah. it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey. <laughs> You're first to press. <laughs> Another one. I mean, Maliza, Maliza says. Last Ninga. one, yeah? Yeah, five questions. Ah, Samuel yeah. Otieno. Samuel Otieno. Who plays for Mara Sugar. <laughs> scored a hat-trick on March what? week one. <laughs> but who was the first player to score a hat-trick in three successive matches in KPL? In KPL. Yeah, hey. 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 This season, Amma? This <laughs> uh-huh. season, ever. Wait, what's the question? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's confused. No, he's confused me. He's confused me. He's confused Who was me. The first player to score a hat trick in three successive matches in KPL. Wow, 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 mm. wow, wow, wow. Oliech. Nope. Well, I mean, I'm going with Omala. Nope. I walk down. <laughs> I'm texting you on a flop. I work. <laughs> Just a very. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh my God. Uh, so it's yeah, a draw oh. between me and Venant. It's a draw between me and Venant. Today you've done a good job. You failed Nyash. Please, <laughs> <laughs> please come back next week and give him zero. <laughs> oh my God, but it was quick to press the buzzer. I have to give him credit for that. Oh my oh, days. Wow. Mushin Datuni may win. Wow. Why are you asking me questions about AFC? Where you should wait, you should Anafaku Hatayo because he's an AFC fan. It's supposed, it's you know, supposed to be minus one. You're an AFC <laughs> fan, you're supposed to answer that. At um, least I went with God Mind. Well, as a, a head as a, of production is a United fan, so I might put some money in his pocket. As a pocket. visitor, I yeah. can't come and outshine you guys, you know. Uh, <laughs> I have to give you respect. I have to give you respect. Banner. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. So since it's a tie, let's do one round of the last one. Mm-hmm. Which team has beaten Arsenal the most? Ah, oh, I should know this. Man City. Nope. Man what? United. You said Man United. Oh, Man United. You said Man United. Once again, uh, minus, uh, one. <laughs> minus one. <laughs> minus <laughs> one. <laughs> minus one. Minus <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. Minus one because the answer is Man United. So I've taken the point. I've taken the point. I know my stats. <laughs> 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 anyway, that, that was a good trivia. That was a, you yeah, know, that trivia that seems weird. better without Nyash. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he was always. <laughs> anyway, that was good. That was good. At uh, the end of the day, uh-huh. is there anything left apart from last week's question of the week? Last week's question of the week. There was no win actually for mm-hmm. last week. There was no one. Who answered it? Mm-hmm. But yeah, this week I believe mm-hmm. you're gonna have it. For There's me. the giveaway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's it for now. That's it for now. Oh. Uh, a reminder: the question of the week this week is who is the all-time top scorer in the North London Derby? Yes. Yep. Definitely not an Arsenal player. <laughs> <It's Leo>. Wait. <laughs> Once again, I'm joined by two Manchester United fans who are broke and they're earning the rich. Okay. Up until next time, <laughs> I've been Waudo waiting for Nyash's 5K after Arsenal failed to beat Spurs and City. Fernand, <laughs> best film manager in town. Mm-hmm. And Johnny Tombogwa, you can catch me on Zosa Podcast or Sportscast. Don't know to Zosa, MZ.
Top shorter. <laughs> <laughs> Till next time, man.